If you're wondering how a fish got into a materials handling picture, that's easy to explain. Because articles weighing pounds or luxury items weighing ounces are all examples of things we need and use in our daily lives. The meat we eat must be handled many times before it reaches our table. Fur coats that keep wives happy and husbands broke are also a materials handling problem. Even the farmer's daughter plays a part in materials handling by helping her father grow the produce he takes to market. The things the farmer raises are handled many times before they reach the ultimate buyer. Factories throughout the country house workers who are busy producing all kinds of goods in keeping with the American ideal to provide more and better goods at lower prices. We can find practically everything we need almost at arm's length. Yet sometimes we forget that most of the things people buy have to be packaged and handled many times before they reach the consumer. Materials handling is one of industry's largest costs and it is almost pure overhead, adding nothing to the value of the product. Therefore, if you're using old-fashioned manual methods, it's just like pouring profits down a rat hole. Every lost motion means a lost dollar. Moving materials by hand is as out of date as traveling across the country in an ox cart, and it's just about as slow. If your business is still using antiquated materials handling techniques, a momentous opportunity awaits you to cut operating expenses. Just take a look at Joe Muscle wrestling with that oil drum that weighs 400 pounds. Naturally, he can't work very fast because he gets fagged out. And so would Hercules if he had to manhandle that weight around all day. But it's no effort at all for this electric fork truck to handle four of those heavy barrels as easily as you or I could carry four ping pong balls after a good night's rest. Here's a strong man laboriously pushing a single barrel while at the same time an electric fork truck moves four heavy drums quickly and effortlessly to the loading area. Joe Muscle had to spend a half hour of back-breaking effort to move these eight drums to the loading area. The electric fork truck took only ten minutes to move five times as many drums into an orderly stack all ready for loading. Quite a contrast, isn't it, between old-fashioned manual handling and the use of modern materials handling equipment that uses electricity as a prime source of power. Fingertip control on electrified materials handling equipment means that a worker has thousands of horsepower at his command. This new type of electrically powered and controlled hoist is fast and safe. The operator is free of manual effort and can see his working area clearly to do his job accurately and economically. All kinds of electrical hoists and cranes have been developed with special hooks, grabs, and magnets to lift different materials. This giant crane is hundreds of times more powerful than the small electric hoist. Nevertheless, its electrical power and controls give it the same ease of handling and proportionate economy of operation obtained in the small hoist. The flexibility of electrically operated machines enables them to move a mountain or pick up a pin and do it quietly, efficiently, and economically. The magnet crane is extremely versatile for handling materials in heavy metal industries. It is especially suited to handle unwieldy objects. When the current is applied, the magnet takes hold immediately, and no time is lost, as it would be if it were necessary to hook a crane to a load. Larger cranes are usually equipped with auxiliary hoists. This half-portal gantry carries an auxiliary hoist to raise and lower lighter loads at higher speeds. The Mobile locomotive crane is very useful in shipping and receiving heavy, irregular material from different locations that are serviced by railroad facilities. Here is a smaller type of mobile crane which is mounted on a truck bed. It can be used to handle materials in confined areas. The Max Speed Hoist is a recent development in the heavy crane equipment field. It will operate on alternating current to give the same positive, smooth control previously obtained only with direct current.
The max speed hoist controls the pull of gravity, which in the old type hoists forced heavier loads to come down faster than lighter loads. The heavier the load, the greater the need to lower it slowly under absolute control for both the safety of the men and the protection of the load. Bridge or overhead traveling cranes have many uses in industrial plants for both outside and inside operations. They are particularly suited to warehousing because they allow storage to maximum height to utilize all the available space in the building. Perhaps the most valuable operation of the bridge crane from the standpoint of warehousing is its ability to remove or place material on top of and in the center of a stack in one operation. Generally, this can be done regardless of the height or location of the stack, an accomplishment beyond the abilities of any other type of materials handling equipment. Cranes and hoists come in many varieties to solve a myriad of problems. Articles that can be assembled to be handled at one time can utilize the power and mobility of the crane as well as the function of the electrically powered conveyor. The stationary electrically powered conveyor is particularly adapted to move materials from one location to another over fixed routes. There are many different types of conveyors. The belt conveyor is one of the most useful, for it will handle many different kinds of packaged or irregular materials. The overhead monorail conveyor saves floor space by using the ceiling to transport and store materials. The apron or slat conveyor generally travels at a low speed and is used mainly on inclines to lift or lower materials between floors. This conveyor provides a strong, rigid carrying surface to counteract loading shock or to support the weight of materials that are too heavy for other types of conveyors. Floor level differences are no obstacle to conveyors. They can integrate the flow of materials between buildings which originally were not designed to work together as a functional unit. They can be used in old buildings where floors are too weak to support even light mobile materials handling equipment. These two buildings are connected by a covered conveyor system which coordinates the sequence of receiving, warehousing and shipping. In this conveyor installation, an operator at a central control panel regulates the flow of materials on the conveyor system. By using remote control switches, he is able to route materials to any desired warehouse location. If trouble develops on one part of the conveyor, all other sections feeding into it are stopped automatically to prevent pileups. A warning light flashes on the control panel to locate the trouble zone and the operator dispatches a workman to correct it. As soon as the conveyor is ready to go, lights flash the all clear signal and the operator puts the system into operation again. Portable conveyors are particularly adapted to small materials handling jobs. They are extremely efficient and economical in loading and unloading trucks, barges and other carriers. When elevated, the portable conveyor becomes a stacking machine. Their mobility and ease of operation speed up the handling of packaged goods in warehousing. The diesel electric locomotive is especially valuable in freight shipping operations in large plants. Generally operated by one man, it spots cars for loading and unloading quickly and accurately, which means there is no lost time in waiting for switchmen. This small diesel electric works with trailers or standard freight cars to transfer materials from one plant location to another. With a diesel electric, fire hazards are reduced, upkeep is simple and inexpensive, and smooth operation reduces track maintenance to a minimum. Pallet system, which incorporates unit load shipping, is one of the most revolutionary and valuable developments in modern materials handling. Pallets are made in various sizes of wood, wire, paper, steel, aluminum, and other materials, depending upon the use for which the pallet is designed. Palletized materials may be strapped or glued together to prevent shifting of the load. A large number of individual items can be handled as a single unit. 
These irregular frames are palletized six at a time for quick and economical handling. Palletizing large numbers of small items results in substantial savings over inefficient individual packaging and handling. Almost any type of material can be palletized for receiving, warehousing, and shipping. The expendable paper pallet is one of the newest advancements in unit shipping. It is strong enough to support heavy loads, but weighs so little that practically nothing is added to the freight cost of the material it carries. The paper pallet affords all the savings of unit load shipping, and its initial cost is so small that it can be scrapped at the receiving end to save the shipper return freight charges. Palletizing affects economies in warehousing as all available space is utilized by stacking to the ceiling. You can see that moving materials in units will lower handling costs by increasing their rate of flow between departments. The self-propelled hand truck is the smallest of all the industrial trucks used in materials handling. This battery-powered piece of equipment is ideal for small businesses as its initial cost and upkeep are nominal. As you can see, it is highly maneuverable in confined areas such as the interiors of freight cars and trucks. This model, which has been developed recently, opens up a new field in warehousing operations for the use of palletized loads. Tearing palletized materials in old buildings with weak floors is now possible because of the light weight of this type of equipment. This type of platform truck only transports material. It must be loaded and unloaded and is generally used in conjunction with some type of hoist or crane. The second type is called the low lift truck. It elevates skids and tote boxes off the floor to transport them quickly and easily. The third type of platform truck is known as the high lift truck. In addition to transporting skids and tote boxes, it will tear them as well. The electric fork truck is extremely efficient and versatile. One of its main functions is to handle pallets in receiving, warehousing, and shipping. But it is used also in many other ways, such as loading freight cars by going directly into the interior to deposit its load. The electric fork truck works very well with a tractor-trailer train by loading and unloading material to storage quickly and economically. This machine can be converted from a fork truck to a ram truck in a few minutes. With the ram attachment in place, it will carry heavy materials such as coils of wire, rolled sheet steel, or large pipe sections. It elevates the material effortlessly and quickly for transporting, storing, or loading. The industrial tractor-trailer train is generally used where large quantities of material are moved for comparatively long distances. Its moderate purchase price and maintenance cost and the relatively light weight of the trailers enable it to transport goods at a very low cost per ton moved. The number of trailers one tractor can service is dependent upon the type and weight of material and the length of haul. One tractor usually keeps three sets of trailers operating economically, with one in transit while the other two are being loaded and unloaded. When the train arrives at the unloading area, the loaded trailers are detached, and the tractor leaves to pick up another load. Electric trucks are quiet, safe, clean, reliable, powerful and their operating and maintenance costs are less than any other type of industrial truck. Storage batteries supply the motive power for electrical trucks. Where trucks are used on a single shift, the batteries can be recharged in the trucks, either by a motor generator set, which can charge one or several batteries simultaneously, or by rectifier units, which are of special advantage to small businesses or they can be spotted in desired locations in larger plants. Where trucks work around the clock, batteries can be removed for recharging and a fresh battery installed in a very few minutes. It's easy to see that the old-fashioned hand truck method of moving materials through shipping, warehousing, and receiving is slow, inefficient, and costly. 
The modern way is to hand form it into palletized unit loads and move it mechanically to speed up operations and cut costs. To obtain the full advantage of unit load shipping, both the shipper and receiver must base their warehousing operations on the palletized system. And now many large manufacturers are stipulating in contracts that the suppliers agree to ship all materials on palletized unit loads. Here is an example of one large manufacturer's complete integration of modern materials handling equipment and methods in actual operation. Material flows from manufacturing to the warehouse by conveyors and on tractor trains. The tractor train unloads onto the conveyor system. The cartons on the conveyor are counted as they pass an electric eye attachment. The individual cartons are switched to different sections of the conveyor where they are sealed and labeled. After sealing, the cartons move to the palletizing area. Here the cartons are sorted so that each pallet load contains a uniform number of identical items. Then the uniform pallet loads are transported and stacked by fork trucks. Inventory is greatly simplified because each bulk area contains only one kind of item. One fork truck operator keeps an order filling area stocked with one palletized load of each item. Several of these order filling areas are close to one overhead monorail drag chain. Palletized orders are assembled on trailers which are hooked to the drag chain. If loading operations become jammed, the drag chain pulls the trailers around till the operators are ready to handle them. When the order reaches the loading area, the pallet is picked up by a fork truck and moved into the freight car for shipment. There are many plans for both small and large businesses which incorporate all the latest developments in modern materials handling and if used properly will result in substantial savings. For example, at this freight transfer depot it took approximately 40 man hours to transfer a carload of tin plate by hand at an average cost of $30 per car. Now a single fork truck handling unit loads takes only 45 minutes to load the car at a cost of $3.76 to save $26.24. Changing from hand loading sugar to mechanical loading by cranes increased a railroad's loading efficiency 400%. By using modern crane equipment, a paper mill estimates it saves $52,000 a year. Shifting from hand loading of springs to unit loads reduced an automobile manufacturer's loading time 92% and saved $71.78 a carload. By installing conveyors, a wholesale warehouse saved 15% in space, 35% in time, and 40% in effort to save $4,000 the first year, which paid for the conveyors. Replacing a steam switch engine with a diesel electric, one company saved $650 during the first month. Another diesel electric was purchased and these two machines do the work of three steam locomotives with proportionate savings. A small rug manufacturer uses a crane truck to cut loading time by two thirds and saves $96 per day. American ingenuity coupled with modern equipment and methods is saving all kinds of businesses hundreds and thousands of dollars depending upon the scope of operations. Therefore, if you still have a Joe Muscle handling materials in your business, it's time to ask yourself some questions. Are workers manually handling materials weighing over 40 pounds? Is your receiving department jammed? Can inventories be reduced and housekeeping put in order? Does nighttime bring increased demurrage costs with your goods on a siding instead of in transit? Are you failing to ship in unit loads? Is the materials handling equipment you own obsolete? If your answer to these questions is yes, it's time to go into action on the materials handling front. Go into action now, not tomorrow. That is the American tradition. Electrified materials handling equipment offers you today's greatest opportunity to cut costs, to produce more and better goods at lower prices, and continue to build an even greater and more powerful industrial America.